What's up guys, it's Jimmy back here with another video today and this video is also going to be a little different. It is not a mod. Instead I'll be showing you today how you can hook up an OBD2 and check diagnostic trouble codes. You can run a relative compression test. You can injector buzz test your 7.3. Pretty sure this works on a 6.0, 6.4. 6.7. This it, it'll it'll diagnose all vehicles from 1996 and newer, and as long as they're Ford, Mazda, or Lincoln, or Mercury vehicle, it will it'll work for all of them. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'll show you what what you got to do and what what it requires. All right. So for today's video, what you're gonna need is a laptop or an iPhone, which will work, and you're gonna need one of these little OBD2. Uh, plugins and this one has the uh, MSHS can switch which works really well and it's a Wi-Fi one so it'll work with your uh, with your iPhone or your laptop and so what you're gonna want to get on your laptop is this thing called Forescan right here it's a it's a diagnostic program that you can download it, it's only supported by Windows though so this this uh, page I have pulled up right now, and I'll, I'll, I'll put this link down in the description. Is for if you have a MacBook like I do, you can get a you can get a program to convert the Windows over to your Apple, and it'll it'll work just fine. But uh, yeah, so and I'll, I'll put a link I'll put a link to where I got this one. This one was a, a better quality one. At first, I bought one for for cheap one, like 15 bucks, and it didn't work. So. It was also a, a USB one, so I would stay away from that, and uh, I would try to go for the Wi-Fi one because it's proven that it works. And this one definitely works for sure; it does a lot of stuff, and it's it's just better to pay the money up front, and you'll be able to get it done. And it, it it's not even close to the price of what a scanner it costs. This, is, this was only 30 bucks, and this program right here is free, so you can diagnose your 73 for for basically 30 bucks and you don't have to buy any expensive scanner or nothing you can read all the codes and I'll show you that so what you're gonna want to do is just Google download for scan and pull it up here and just scroll down and you want to download the latest one and obviously it's it's time in April now so this one's up to date so you're gonna click download and then you're gonna basically just get it to your computer. And so if you have a Windows computer, it'll download right to it. If you have a, an Apple computer like I do, it's not gonna download right away because it's just not meant for an Apple computer. So like that uh, forum before there said, you're gonna get eventually get an app like this. It's called Crossover. If you just read that forum, those 10 steps, it's real easy, simple. And you'll be able to get the app on there and then you can just click it and it uh, it'll open up. Yeah, it'll start searching for your thing. I'll show you how to how to actually run the program. I'm not I'm not going to go into the how to use it for an iPhone because I haven't I haven't done that. I'm not particularly knowledgeable about all of how that works, but I do hear that it works with an iPhone. And uh, there's probably other directions and forums out there to read and how to do that. So I'm just going to show you how to do it with the laptop. All right. So now what you're going to want to do is take your OBD2 and you want to make sure that it's switched to the HS can switch and you're going to come down here and you're going to plug it in and it'll come up in your Wi-Fi preferences so you're going to go and you're going to connect it and now you're going to come over here and click OK like I said before, you want the HS cam position on. You're going to want to turn the ignition on. And you want to obviously make sure you're not driving while you're doing this. This is just a tip. Before, if it doesn't connect, go into the settings button. And you want to unclick the demo mode, but you also want to go to connection. You want to click, since this is a Wi-Fi one, click the Wi-Fi button. Hit the auto connect. And we know that this has an HS slash MS switch, so we'll check that off too and that'll make sure that you get connected right and it finds your finds your obd2 now that we're connected to our vehicle we can do a couple things like drawing uh dtc which is your diagnostic trouble codes it'll it'll pull up if you have any 
like mine says ignition key and circuit fault because it's in and as you know if you've seen any of my other videos it definitely likes to beep even when the key's not in there which is kind of annoying but this is just another one that's not really that important uh, the PCM minute Fold intake air heater circuit low. The little heater in the intake is probably malfunctioning. I mean, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really do anything. So you can delete that if you really, really want to delete that. You know, it's common people delete those and just take them out and put a solid uh, screw stud thing in there. So not a big deal. So now we're going to get on to the fun stuff. You go into your this is the check board for the testing one and these are all the different tests that I can perform on my vehicle for, for other vehicles might be different more options less options but uh see this one right here we do key on engine off injector electrical self test so that's the buzz test right here and we're going to demonstrate that one for you click your your test and then you're going to come down here and click the play button and it will come up with just these uh, precautions that you just want to read real quick make sure everything's there and hit the OK button and it's going to start going and that's it as you can hear all eight of my injectors buzzed and they buzzed uh, strongly so they're good and uh, yeah, that concludes that test. And there's all these different tests that you can perform and look up and see what they each do. I'm not, I'm not gonna run any more because I don't think I need to. Um, just showing you guys how to buzz test your injectors mainly. That's like the big one that everyone wants to do. And uh, because injectors are expensive, so. All right guys, it's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. I thank you very much for watching. And I thank you guys for finally starting to get some subscribers to the channel. So we're starting to grow. We're getting there. Um, but like I said, I thought this would be a little fun video and informative for you guys. So you can test your 7.3s or your other power strokes. Yeah, you can run some codes and see what's going on if you got any problems. And you don't have to buy a super expensive scanner. It's, just, it's probably some just some basic things that it, it's able to pick up. I mean, I know 7.3s seven aren't really that complicated. So... It works well with them. Um, obviously, new technology uh, updated these years. Uh, like a newer truck, like a 6.7, might be hard to diagnose with just this little basic scanner. So you might need a real one for that. But I, mean, I guess it's worth a shot. And um, yeah, so I'll leave a link in the uh, description here for uh, this scanning tool that I used. It was 30 bucks I got it on Amazon. So I'll put that link down there and I'll put the link to the forums for the for the Forescan program and where you can download that and uh, get that on your laptop. Like I said, it, it works with the iPhones, but um, you might want to look up somebody else's uh, coverage on that because I, obviously I didn't show you how to do it. I'm not familiar with it, but I do hear that that works as well. So if that's an option for you, that's, that's great because... Uh, not everyone has a laptop, I understand, and um, that, that's a great alternative if you want to use your iPhone. Now, the iPhone can't do as much, and it doesn't pick up as much data, so definitely if you have a laptop, that's the way to go. And um, it's just, I think it's just a lot easier to use, in my opinion, than trying to go type on, like, a small little phone or whatever. But just uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, it's been a little slow right now. I've been pretty busy, haven't been able to get much done to my truck, but... Um, Definitely, I promise more content will be coming in the future within a few weeks. And um, just please hit that subscribe button if you're new. Leave a like on this video and leave any comments you got down there. Really, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good one. I'll see you guys next time.